Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If you're stopping by the channel for the first time, please consider subscribing to my channel. And while you're at it, smash that like button for me. I really would appreciate it. Well, today guys is a sad day. I'm going to be selling my Ferrari 458. The Ferrari 458 is my dream car, but you know, at some point, we got to move on. And this video is to walk you guys through why I've decided to do that and ask you guys what should be next as it relates to supercar. Now, I know what I am going to be doing in the interim, and that is a Range Rover SVR or a Mercedes G. 63 AMG. So one of those two SUVs will be the next car on the channel, right? But I want you guys to drop me your choice down in the comment section of the video. Let me know which one do you think I should be focusing on. Now this monster right here, which is my 2019 Porsche 911 GT3, that will stay. Let me go ahead and show you guys around my 2015 Ferrari 458. All right, guys, I've owned the Ferrari for about three and a half years. And it's been a wonderful three and a half years. 570 brake horsepower, 398 pound foot of torque, just has been a absolute fantastic supercar to own. Why am I selling it? I find myself driving this beauty right here most of the time. I find myself in the, in the GT3. So it's uh, not really getting a lot of road time. It's been sitting in the garage and um, why not move it on to somebody that can really enjoy the car and use it till its fullest potential. I've never taken the car out on the track. I've just simply used it as a GT Cruiser. Don't get me wrong, it's, it's, it's wicked, wicked fast. The 488, which is the successor to this one right here, is turbocharged. The F8 Tributo, which is the successor to the 488, is turbocharged. This is your last naturally aspirated V8 mid-engined Ferrari. And it's a 2015, like I mentioned earlier. Now, the 458 was produced by Ferrari from 2010 to 2015 and they made roughly 15,000 to 18,000 when you include the coupe as well as the spider so pretty rare this one right here has 5,000 miles on it the original sticker price on it was 200 $88,000 and I picked it up as a pre-owned Ferrari in 2017 so it was two years old when I picked it up and I paid 240 grand for it and right now they're probably trading in this particular condition with the miles full service records no accidents, immaculate condition, they're going in that 195 to 209 range. That's it guys, she is going to be sold. It's bittersweet because, you know, this was my dream car. The 458 was my dream car and I owned it three and a half years and it brought me so much personal enjoyment. Um, and I'm so glad that I had that experience. But now it's time to move on. 
So, I will be adding an SUV, like I mentioned earlier, but in 2021, I plan on getting a new supercar. Either a Huracan Evo, Lamborghini Huracan Evo, or a Audi R8 V10 Plus, or a McLaren 675 LT. Again, down in the comments, let me know of those three supercars should I get in 2021 to sort of replace the 458. So I'm going to have just two cars in the garage. I'm going to have the GT3, which is right here. And then I'm also going to get an SUV like I have already mentioned. And I'm asking you guys to let me know down in the comment box, should it be a 2020 Range Rover Sport SVR or a 2020 Mercedes G63 AMG? Which one do you think will go alongside the GT3 the best? If you guys know anybody that's in the market for a 2015 Ferrari 458, certainly send them my way. I got an email address in the description box for my company, RF Financial Consulting. So if you know anybody or if you are interested, send me an email. Again, guys, I'm not uh, taking any lowball offers. Um, I I'll take my time and sell it when I get the right offer. I've already told you for a 2015 with 5,000 miles with this spec on it. Um, they're going for 195 to, to 209 so uh, I'll negotiate a price somewhere in that price range. Can you get a 2010, 2011 in that 150 to 160, 65 range? Yes, but you got to understand this is a 2015. I'm not going to hold you up anymore. Thank you for stopping by the channel and checking out this video i had to do uh letting you guys know the 458 is going to be leaving the garage um if you're stopping by the channel for the first time please consider subscribing share the video and smash that like button for me i really would appreciate it thoughts become things if you can see it in your mind you can hold it in your hands you guys keep chasing your greatness never stop believing in yourself and i will catch you on the next video peace